Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to show you how I'm going to pack minimally in my carry-on for my honeymoon to Maine. So I'm going to start out by laying out every single piece of clothing that I'm planning on packing for this trip. I did a pretty big closet overhaul recently and I really only have my basics and favorites left in my wardrobe. I started off by checking the weather just to see what the conditions were going to be like, where we're staying, and what I think I may or may not need to pack. I try to keep my clothing seasonally appropriate for the climate that I'm going to, and I also make sure I have a whole bunch of neutrals that I can pair well together in different outfits. For our five day trip, I'm packing four t-shirts, two kimono-like cardigans, two pairs of denim shorts, one bathing suit, one striped dress, and two longer skirts. I also ended up packing a rain jacket, in this jumpsuit in case we decided to go to a special or fancy dinner. And lastly, I packed my travel outfit for the day, which would be these comfy green shorts and this thicker black sweater. With all the traveling that I've been doing over the last few years, I've really been experimenting with different folding methods, and this one is my new favorite. It's more of a brick method, so folding everything into itself and more of a tuck and roll to get everything to fit nicely into either my packing cubes or just laid out by itself in my carry-on. This really helps keep everything organized and situated in your suitcase and make it easier to see what you already have. And I use the same method for every piece of clothing. No certain piece gets folded a special way. I started to gather some of my extra pieces, one of which is this white mesh bag, which I typically use to put my dirty clothes in when I travel. And then along with that, I also have this jewelry case that I've had for several years now, and I just have some earrings in here along with a couple pairs of bracelets. After I get all that situated, I'm going to start putting it into my carry-on. I ended up putting my shirts and my skirts in a packing cube and sticking it in there nicely. And then I went in with my shorts and followed that up with my cardigans and then that black bathing suit. And then to finish off the smaller space on the side here, I'm going to stick that white mesh bag for my dirty laundry and also my jewelry box. For the other side of my suitcase, I'm going to put my undergarments in this packing cube. I also ended up sticking my pajamas that I plan to wear in this cube as well. For this trip, we are not flying, we are driving. So I'm not worried about the size of any of my products. In my toiletry bag, I have a shampoo, conditioner, contact solution, everyday lotion, face moisturizer, some Excedrin, a bar of soap, razor, some sunscreen, makeup wipes, and this little extra bag. In this little extra bag, I'm going to keep in my toiletry pouch just some of the other small things or anything I want to have at the ready, which would include hair tie, toothpaste, tweezers, travel toothbrush, floss, some travel perfume, contact case, and some extra band-aids. I found it a lot easier just to keep these small, quick grab items in a separate bag. It helps keep my toiletry bag more organized and I have less of a chance of losing all this smaller stuff as well. Once I have all that packed up and ready to go, it's in my carry-on situated next to my undergarment pouch and then I'm going to move on to my shoes. I 
I've been in a habit of putting my shoes in some sort of cloth bag so I have these pairs of heels in case again we go on a special dinner or want a fancy night out and I'm going to stick these in this cloth pouch and then I'm also going to get two pairs of sandals. I'm not planning on wearing sneakers. I don't think we're going to be doing anything that would require sneakers so I'm going to stick with my two sandals in this bag and this bag in particular holds two pairs of shoes and I'm going to stick that right alongside my toiletry bag. One of the last things I'm going to pack is just my electronics, which would include some chargers for my Apple Watch and my phone, a battery pack for my camera, and some wall plugs for my charging cables. And last but not least, we would also have my camera included in here as well. I'm planning on vlogging for this trip. I'm super excited about it, so make sure you stay tuned for a vlog of our main trip. And this little pouch will also go right alongside my shoes, toiletries, and undergarments. In this small little pocket of space that I have here, I'm going to just fold up my rain jacket and then on the opposite side where I had a little bit more extra space, I'm going to add that jumpsuit that I mentioned earlier. And now we are all done with my suitcase and we're going to move on to my personal bag of choice, which for this trip, since again we're not flying, will just be my brown Madewell purse. So in here I'm going to pack a lip gloss, a hat, hand sanitizer, my sunglasses, my regular glasses, and a wristlet. This is normally the same sort of stuff that would go in my personal item bag if we are flying, but since we are not, I'm going to just put it in my purse, get it all zipped up, and ready to go. And that is all I'm taking with us for this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some inspiration and that it will help you in your future trips as well. It has been a minute since I've filmed anything and I would love to catch up with you guys in the next few videos, talk about my channel a little bit and how it's changing and what I'm planning on for the future when it comes to my content. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and coming back for this last video. I hope again that you can get some inspiration from this travel video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one.